do you have any burning questions about using the Equiband, about getting results with the Equiband, or best strategies and tips and tricks for using the Equiband? Well, basically, I started the channel to track my Equiband journey and in the process, help anybody else that was also facing the same struggles. And then along the way, you guys started posting a lot of great questions on a number of videos. And so I figured that I would make this series where I answer all of these questions uh, in a video because if one person asked, chances are more than one person has the question. So I hope that this helps and uh, I'll probably make like a compilation with all the questions in one, um, but then also break them out into individual videos as well. So, and I'm not trying to dox anybody who are, who's asking me these questions, so I would just like to say up front, thank you for asking these questions, and if you want recognition, I'm more than happy to tag you in it or things like that um, of that nature, but anyway, I went back and forth on it because on one hand, I don't want to discredit people for the questions, but then on the other hand, I wasn't trying to dox anybody who didn't want to, you know, be public on the internet. So. All right, so the next question is, how long do you stay at 10 minutes? And this one actually uh, relates to another question that I already answered, but let's talk about this again. So I always suggest that everybody starts at 10 minutes. And the reason for that is it's a long enough time for your horse to feel the tension and feel an actual workout, but not too long where you risk hurting them. And so what I would say is, after you use it for the initial 10 minutes, you're gonna audit. You're gonna see how hard they're breathing. You're gonna see how, uh, if they're sweaty under the bands at all. You're gonna assess, you know, um, how hard they had to work at, and there's another video that I'm gonna link to. So the first one I'm, I'm gonna link to is the physical signs to look out for after you use the echo band to be able to track how hard your horse is working. And then I have another video called the Equi Tracker, where it is a literal spreadsheet that I made so that you can do the math to figure out how tight or loose your bands need to be for how, for, for where your horse is at. Like if your horse is just starting out, then there's a certain percentage range, which I'm gonna save it for that, like the video's link. So watch that video. It's gonna show you what percentage range to start in and what you're aiming toward and so you're, you're gonna take all of these variables into account and audit how your horse has reacted. So one thing I will say is the first 10 minutes I put this on my horse, his nostrils were pretty flared and I was actually quite shocked at how hard he had to work for just 10 minutes with the echo band on. And that's, when, that's why I say to everybody, like only start with 10 minutes because it's going to be shocking how um, how hard they have to work when they use the Equiband. And it's because it's forcing them to engage muscles in a different way than they ever have before. Now, I have tons and tons and tons of videos about what the Equiband is, how the Equiband's different from anything you've ever used, and I can link to some of those as well too. But the reality is that the Equiband engages their core muscles and their hind end muscles in a different way than anybody can ask them while they're from just riding. Because while your, your legs and proper seat and things like that can basically make horses use their abs and their hind end, there's nothing like resistance training with the rubber band on. So in terms of the question though, how long do you stay at 10 minutes? The answer is, your horse is gonna have to tell you because if you put it on and they're like, holy crap, that was a hard workout, I would stay at 10 minutes for a little bit. If you put it on and the horse and you do 10 minutes and the horse is like, was that even on there? Then what I would say is if you've gone through the Equa Tracker training and you're starting at the proper intensity, like meaning that you didn't just throw it on and put it for 10 minutes and see what happened, like you know where you're starting from, then I would say that you either do one of two things. You increase the duration or you increase the intensity. So what you would do, if you do the first 10 minutes and your horse looks at you like, so what? Then you either go up to 15 minutes or 20 minutes, or you increase the intensity and stay at 10 minutes. And then you're gonna play around with it until you find a pat, until you find an amount that makes them work hard, but not too hard. Um, 
So I hope you enjoyed this video on this question that I got about the Aquaman. Please keep the questions coming because chances are if you have the question, somebody else has the question and I can't read your mind. So if you comment on the video your question, there's a very real chance that your question's going to end up in a video and you'll get your answer, um, not just in written form because I have responded to all these questions as well. This channel is trying to continue to help educate people on how to build the best Equivan program for their horse and get the results, the amazing results that I've seen. I used the Equivan back in 2021 and it is now 2024. In addition to the fact that it was a game changer on my horse's rehab, the benefits of, of him being able to use his body better, you know, transcended his rehab. And I'll link my reaction video. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of before and after the Echo Band because one of the things that he improved upon is his straightness. That the results that I've seen with the Echo Band were not just beneficial to his rehab, they were beneficial to how he uses his body to this day. And if you do this right, if you build the program right, if you build up that strength right, it doesn't mean you have to use it forever. It means you have to use it for a an amount of time that enables them to use their body better and then you can use it as more of like a maintenance tool you don't have to use it all day every day it's like a workout program it's a workout regime you know not everybody struggles with the exact same thing if you give your horse more strength to do the endurance test whatever your endurance test is whether it's jumping dressage eventing western um racing it doesn't matter if you give your horse more strength in their ability to do the work, then the work can get better. And so I hope that these questions have helped because I guarantee if one person has the question, more than one person has the question. So keep the questions coming and I will keep answering them. See you on the next one.